here we have 65 windows, all of one, except one of which look at the ocean itself. It was empty for 20 years after Mrs. Wharton died. There were three big four foot by eight signs that said, for sale, see any broker. So I made an offer of $3,500, and they said, no, too low. So I went up to $3,600, bought it for $3,600. Greatest bargain of my life, I'll tell you. <laughs> the house itself, the entire interior uh, uh, area of the house is uh, about 60% of the area of the entire island. They bought it in 1961. It was a total wreck. Uh, you can stand in the basement and see the sky straight up. All 65 windows were broken. The plumbing was smashed, all the stair rails. The furniture had all been either stolen or smashed uh, into smithereens. So I said, God, where am I going to start? Where am I going to start on this? So I figured the roof was the most important thing to make it more or less tight. This whole roof shows a good bit of what we have endeavored to get, and I think we have, a fully green environment here. We are not taking any energy. We're not doing anything really harmful for uh, uh, pollution. We treat all the sewage before it goes to sea. We turn it into compost for the gardens. Up here, we have a windmill. Uh, we do pay a good deal of insurance, and we originally, we couldn't get any insurance. And then uh, for taxes are pretty high. So about 40 years ago, I tried to get a mortgage out here, and the guy said, what about the storms? And he said, we well, wrote out the 38 hurricane, and the mortgage head said, but you'd never know about the next one. <laughs> and they wouldn't give me a mortgage. <laughs> so what we started, oh, maybe 30 years ago, was work weekends. We invited every, anyone that are friends or friends or friends or whatever, and the most we ever got was around 10 years ago. We had 110 volunteers to come out here and work for the weekend. We call it sort of like a barn raising. You work all day, and then there's social, I won't say events, social wonderful meals and a lot of drinking thereafter. I love the fact that it's on its own island. I love the fact that it's looking on the ocean everywhere. I love the fact as you look out, you say J sloops and freighters that look like boxcars bringing 3,000 cars from Japan. <laughs> I love this house. <laughs> Everything.